Okay, welcome back to the studios. It's still link up right here on Xylophone TV. All for your viewing ecstasy. Nothing but the very best of entertainment. So if you're just joining us, well, we are just about to begin. So do what to tell a friend so they don't miss out. We are streaming live on Facebook as well. So you can tune in on Facebook and then you can watch us right there as well. My first guest is seated and <laughs> it's amazing. I was just having a little combo with him before we came back. And he was telling me about his life as a... Uh, a navy officer so we are going to dig in he doesn't just do that but he's combining that with music he happens to be a gospel artist and his name is P.O. Kwabena Donko welcome to the studios thank you okay so before we come talk music I think we want to know more about you your persona and then we'll know about your um, the navy so I, I was asking what the P.O actually okay. meant uh, the name is a uh, pew kwabena donko okay uh -huh. and uh, the pew is my rank okay uh, when you come to the ghana armed forces you know we have three arm of service mm. we have the army we have the navy and then we have the air force okay. so i happens to be uh, i belong to the the navy that is the royals you know with the three arm of service we are the only royals how how is that uh, uh, you can you, if you have anybody within the military you can find out that who are the royals okay. it is only the navy who are the royals what that's, makes you guys that, the that's, royals? that's why you know you, if you look at my outfits mm -hmm. decent white white uh, no the infantry man cannot wear white okay you will go and dirty it up but with the royals, mm -mm. why you can you can't stain your dress when you're on the waters? No, 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 no. You know, a royal leave as that. You know, you, you don't do things that will bring the integrity of the royal house into disrepute and all those. Hey. You know, it is it is. Uh, uh, if you go to England, for example, mm -hmm. you know. With the with the with the UK and England, it is only the royal that belongs to the navy. That's why we have the Royal Navy. So okay. navy all over the world belongs to the royals, and that one. Wow. For that, I I am proud to be among the royals, <laughs> as far as the military is concerned. Wow, so, beautiful. Uh, so as I was saying, um, and again, if you come into the service, that's the military. Mm -hmm. We have the officer call and then we have the non-officer call okay so i happens to be uh, belonging to the non-officer call okay. uh, with the officer call they go to the military academy and then after their period of training mm -hmm. they are being commissioned by the president okay. but with the non-officer call it is not commissioned by the president we go to the recruit training center as there are various recruit training grounds and then after six uh, nine months you pass out and then you join it so that is the difference and then with the ranks uh, I have been in the service for kind of about 18 years now wow oh, why why is it wow <laughs> right my, my am I too you small? Don't look, well I, well I, I don't know what age you got into the new uh, so I can't I can't really so see. so 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 I'm, wow. I'm not all that old okay yeah. I joined the service that's 2003, so it's 18 years, right? If yeah. I'm not. So that is that that is it. So I have uh, run to the ranks of the non officer call from mm. the ordinary seaman through able seaman through a leading seaman, mm -hmm. and with a petty officer that's a PO that I'm in. We have two categories. That's one and two. I, I happens to be one. The ranks we start from two before you go to one. Okay. So. Even with the Abu Siman, we have Abu Siman class two. Then we come to Abu Siman class one. Then you come to a leading Siman. Then from leading Siman, you come to Petty Officer class two, which okay. is PO two. Then you come to Petty Officer class one, which I am in now. Maybe if all things work right, in the next couple of months or so, I will be moving to my next higher rank, will which be will be captain? no, which will be CPO. That's Chief Petty Officer. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so. Where does the captain come in? That is that is where the officer call. I see. Now with the officer call, you know, there is a confusing. Uh, you know, the army have a captain, and then the navy have also have a captain. A captain okay. But anytime we are referring to a royal navy captain, if it is Ghana, mm -hmm. you see that we write captain there into bracket. You have the letter Gulf November. That's G N into bracket. That means that captain 
is a senior officer. Okay. Which is By a that colonel. Mean he came in in November. No, no, no. That is that is a colonel in the army. I see. So a captain GN in the navy is a colonel in the army. Oh. So it's not it's not a, a small rank when you come to but for a captain in the army is a lieutenant so far as the navy is mm -hmm. concerned. Wow, beautiful. Okay, so with all that you're saying, it's obvious that you really love your job. For for that and one. And you're saying that you are proud to I'm be I'm proud to royal. be in the Royal Navy. Okay, yeah. so what how did music come about for you? What made you go into music? Okay. Um I can say that I, I Kwabna Donko is music and music is Kwabna Donko. That is how I put it. Okay. Because um, I belong to a family of five. That's uh, three boys and then two, two girls. girls. And uh, my father is a retired uh, Seventh-day Adventist pastor. Wow. So for, right from the mission house and the Seventh-day Adventist SDA. Mm -hmm. You should know the, the, yeah. the, the line. that. Yeah. So music is part of that. But along the line during my school days, um, my dad asked me to put a stop into the music at the tender age okay. so that i'll concentrate on my education and uh, the motive was for me to uh, to become a pastor in the future just uh, mm -hmm. when he's gone retirement then i will take, uh, over. take over from him but uh, you know uh, human beings our mind is not god's mind True. and yeah. along the line i find myself in the military mm. and uh, over the years, you know, with the military, we have, we do church services and other. So, right from the recruit training center, mm -hmm. whenever we are doing service, whenever we are doing uh, gathering, you see me always uh, leading or coming forward to, to lead music. Okay. So, uh, it grew up from that side. And then, my, I also spoke to my bosses that... Uh, this is an inbuilt talent that God has given me. So, uh, I want if the service can grant me the opportunity to do music. Okay. And lo and behold, uh, when he went to the higher authorities, uh, they gave me the permission to do music, which wow. I'm very grateful to uh, my authorities for giving him the opportunity. Wow. So, is there ever a time where um, your music career conflicts with your um, call, your Navy career? No, since. Let's say I started doing full-time music about eight years ago. Uh, it has never conflicted. You know, anytime I have a program, yeah. uh, you know, I'm based in Takradi. Anytime I have a program or I'm being invited for a program, what I normally do is you give me the proud notice. I inform my authorities that uh, this very day or this very time, mm -hmm. there is this program that I have to uh, attend. And uh, by God's grace, it has never conflicted with my Wow. Uh, core job as a military personnel. At any point in time, it meets uh, the requirement or the required time so that I will be able to go and then uh, glorify God. Wow, beautiful. Um, on that note, I want to congratulate you because we know you recently had an award at the Western Music Awards. Yes. Gospel Song of Gospel the Year. Song, yeah. Is that your first ever award? Yeah, that's my first ever award when I started music. Wow. So take it eight years since you started music. Yeah. You, you get nominations or you attend events, you see people getting nominations, um, your colleagues and all of that, you see people getting awards. And with, with the kind of job you're doing, you're doing it, it actually comes with some sort of pride and feel to be recognized and to be awarded. So all through the eight years, when you see people come and go with awards, nominations and all of that, how did that make you feel? Okay, uh, for me, their prime motive was not awards. Okay. Mine is a ministry. Mm. And my own is to reach God's people with my music. Okay. So uh, I will say that when award comes, I'll receive it. That means it's uh, a reward that God wants to give me. Mm. But I, I don't fight for awards. I don't do music because of awards, basically. So if the award comes or not, I will still do what I'm being expected to do. Mm. So whether awards or not, uh, at least I have two albums and uh, almost about eight singles out. Without It is just uh, this very year that yeah. by the grace of God, at his own time, mm -hmm. he has honored me with that. Wow. So I'm proud of being uh, awarded with that, uh, uh, what do you call it, award. But... Uh, it was not the focus. Okay. 
Okay, nice. So you're saying that yours is a ministry, yeah. and then you have two albums and eight singles. Yeah. Tell us about the ministry. How do the songs come to you? Someone gets their songs, um, some people get their songs through prayer. Others, when they sleep, it comes to them. Others, when they are praying, I've already mentioned prayer, of course. Like, how did yours come to you? Okay, a um, couple of times, most of my songs um, comes out of the various sermons that I listen. Okay. Sometimes when I go to church, and sometimes on television, you know, you're still with the SDA. Yeah, I'm still with the SDA. Okay. Full stand member of the Seventh Day Adventist. Okay. And when I go to check the various sermons that comes in, and sometimes with my work, you know, we move around both at sea and land. Mm -hmm. So some of the things in the songs are things that are life experiences that we meet or we see. So coupled with it, if I should meet somebody. Who may be by the roadside is a blind person he's begging to eat yeah. or she's begging to eat and i go to church and there is a sermon about giving you know when you marry the two together mm. it it's it, it sounds very well when you you come out with uh, uh, what they call it a composition of it being music because it is not everybody that will get opportunity to be listening to various sermons but with music, yeah. it travels far. Nowadays, if we, we, don't, we don't use the normal CDs yeah, and then cassette. With our phones, mm -hmm. we can go wherever that we are and then we enjoy the music at any uh, uh, corner. Yeah, so, reaching the people to the end of the world as our Master and Jesus Christ, when he was living, mm -hmm. asked us to do that we should go into the world, to the end of the world. We should send the word there. That is what I'm doing. Wow. Beautiful. Now let's come to back to the military. Okay. Um, we know or we hear people misrepresent most of you, and yeah. um, people feel that anybody who is in the military is mean or wicked. Like we brand you guys, you people, some sort of way, and you happen to be a musician in this field, a gospel musician for that matter. How has the response or acceptance be from, from people, even with your own colleagues in the military, when it started off, how has it been? How was it? Oh, for, for, for with my colleagues and then the work, I can say that maybe the way I started it, mm. they saw it. Okay. So uh, embracing it wasn't that uh, difficult, difficult yeah. because uh, my mates or my colleagues during the training center will testify to that uh, upon all the hardship training that we were going through, sometimes... I was having about four of my colleagues that we set aside some days out of the training and we'll be fasting for we ourselves and our colleagues wow. who were, yes, who were on the training center upon all the hardship that we we're going through. Wow. And then uh, with partaking fully in the various uh, religious service that we we're doing also gave me the opportunity. So, uh, them receiving me they didn't, uh, wasn't difficult. Wasn't difficult. And with my church, you know, after the weekdays work, mm -hmm. every Saturday I'm at church, and I ha I have a singing group at church. Okay. And we do perform at church. So with my church, to since they knew me from the beginning, it, it wasn't, wasn't new. It wasn't new, you know. This man, it's something that uh, maybe went on hold, and now right. it is coming back. And with the outside my church you know uh, seeing a military man doing this sometimes it amaze people like you're saying mm -hmm. oh no these people uh yeah no 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 we don't believe so sometimes when people see my uh posters or hear of me somebody just want to come in see that yes it's true that yes the person is a military man yeah. and uh, i know that when they come uh they are amazed and they are surprised what God is doing. So okay. that is how the journey has been so far. Wow, beautiful. I know you have a new one out. Yes. And you featured Joyce Blessing on yeah, it. Yeah, that one break up. But before we talk about that song and we go see the video, what's your relationship with Joyce Blessing? Oh, Joyce is my sister. Okay. It's a sister. Just a sister. Just a sister. Okay, so why did you decide to go on this one with her? Okay. Um the song was already done mm. joyce was not in the picture okay then 
I was there one day when my sound engineer called me that I should come to the studio. We have to do something on the song. By that time, we have done everything left, left with the uh, mixing and the mastering. So I came and he told me that, Pew, uh, this song, I have that feel that there should be a female touch to it. So what do we do? Then I told him, uh, it's called Jake. That's Jacob of Fusila, be Jake on the beat. Mm -hmm. So I told him, Jake, you know, with me, when it comes to my music, he tell you, even when I enter the studio and we are going to do normal programming, without five minutes prayer, we will never go into the machines. Because I always believe that even if it's a second, we have to commit it into the hands of the sure. good almighty. Sure. So I asked him that now we have to go and then talk to God for him to give us the way to go. If it is God's wish that there should be a female touch, I don't have a problem with it. Mm. So after, I think, three days, I, told, I came back to him and told him, okay, fine. I have the, the same, after I prayed for that three days, that, okay, we should give it... Uh, I try and then see what so he came out with a couple of names that i would not like to mention okay. here so i told him okay the names you have suggested as an engineer you know the reason why you suggested the, the names mm -hmm. but i also have to go and talk to my master for him to choose one for me so the you name went back to pray yeah i went back to pray for another three days wow so out of the out on the third day then joyce name came up how out of my prayer like how did you hear did, did this how did it come out okay with with me i have so many way of getting things been that sometimes i can even write the names down mm. put them in the in the in a envelope or a bowl put it down and be prayed over it okay then after some time after the third day i decided to do a, a raffle pick out of it and her name came up yes wow so after that i told him that uh, it is joyce that uh, my father told me that we should get in touch to but uh he should do the contact contact because you know joyce used to come to takradi okay. uh, and the uh, sky group of uh, uh what they call it, media mm -hmm. he has been coming there to when they are doing programs so uh, they have that link up with joyce so okay. i asked him to do the contact and let's see how good and lo and behold you know when you commit everything to the hands of god mm -hmm. sometimes you will think that it's magic because where uh, it has to take uh climbing on top of the hill to get there you just walk through the valley and you are there wow. so that is how the whole thing came about. okay so that is your camera i want you to look into it and then introduce your song with joy's blessing to the people so we go take a look at okay that. um the title of the song is Only You, Yah. Yah means Yahweh. It's a Greek or a Hebrew word that people don't understand. It means God. So we are talking about the omnipotent one. And it is P.O. Kabnad Donko featuring the unbreakable joy's blessing. Still, the unbreakable. So that is the song for you. Okay, enjoy. We'll be back. Okay.
Blessing and then PO Donko, or should I add the Kabna? Yes, Kabna. Okay, PO Kabna Donko featuring yes. um, Joyce. I think that was a beautiful song. Thank you. And yes, it's it can only be God in everything, it's only God. Yes. So I think it's a good one. I'll come to you so you tell us more. But people, I just need to inform you about something that's going to happen on the 28th of November. And that happens to be the Simabru Fashion and Business um, Faculty. They are coming up with a night of fashion, glam, and creativity. You can't and you do not want to miss this beautiful experience. So it's going to be a graduation and an, and an award show happening at the elemental premises right here at Xylophone Media Complex in East Legon on the 28th of November. So that's like a week from now. Yes. You just have to be here. You know when it comes to fashion and the name Simabu is mentioned. Nyake Bianca Dame, just like Joy's Blessing say, like nothing else, nobody else comes to be, you understand? And so it has to be the one and only Simabu. Like she, she can barbie you, she can doll you up and all of that. You do not want to miss this experience. She's graduating new students and it's going to be an award ceremony as well. So on the 28th, of November, all road leads to the xylophone media complex right here in East Legon. Elemental premises is where this event is going to happen. And the rate for regular is a cool 50 Ghana cities. Um, pairing up and then coronavirus by what should they match it? You've saved up a lot of money. Come give us 50 cities, come and enjoy yourself. Come see beautiful things, hmm? get beautiful ideas, new ideas. You can even sign up. And go to school with her. VIP is 150 and then 200 cities for a couple. So you and Bay or you and Mummy and you and Boo or whoever for 200 cities. VIP is 150 cities and then a regular you come with your 50 Ghana cities. Come and experience a night of bliss, glamour, and creativity right there on the runway and trust me you're going to enjoy it and it's going to be worth your money so i remind you again but just write it somewhere add it to your calendar 28th of november is a night for simabu fashion and faculty beautiful beautiful experience right here as i for media complex okay so before you go um your background as a military man we recently lost Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rollins, who happens yeah. to be uh, a military man as well, and of course, the first president of the Fourth Republic. Uh, so, how does that affect you as a military man? Um, you know, uh, personally, okay. that is uh, last week, mm. uh, Thursday, you know, um, I came. To do a call, I wanted to start my promotion for this song that is last week. So, okay. those who followed me realized that I posted that they, I have put in uh, on hold to all the television promotion that I was doing. Mm. You know, growing up, um, may he so rest in peace. Amen. Uh, former President Rollins, as a military person, 
uh, is somebody that has been my mentor, you know, when it comes to the military. Okay. Yeah, there are a couple of uh, military... What is it about him that made him your mentor? What is it that you, you know, like you know, about you know, him? Uh, with the military, there are, there are certain uh, character or there are certain attributes that uh, if you are a military personnel, you mm -hmm. have to... The first one is self-discipline. Okay. And when we take a former president Rollins mm. as a person, he's a self-disciplined person. Sure. And then again, when it comes to his uh, courage, he's very courageous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. when he wants to do something, the decision he takes, he doesn't do back and front oh, decision. Sure. And again, when it comes to his personality and his turnout, you know, when he wears the uniform and you see him, you see that, yes, this is a military <laughs> you know, so this are, there are lots that I can mention. I have a lot that I look up to uh, him as a, a, a person. Mm -hmm. And then you could remember that even within his uh, time that he went on retirement, even after his political, I think uh, along the, if I'm not mistaken, I think along the Tema uh, area, yeah. there was a day that he was going, then there was this traffic yeah, jam, the people doing yeah. You know, uh, when he got down, that is that is the kind of person we all look up to. So for me, uh, within my 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 18 years in the service, there are some things that even when I'm driving on a road and I meet so I see certain things because of those things that I pick for me, I mm -hmm. cannot just pass by and uh, ignore ignore it or sure. not attending to. So mm -hmm. that is that is the person he is to me. So mm -hmm. he, he for me. As a person, have lost a mentor. Mm. Uh, that uh, I know, uh, it is God who gives and it's God who takes. So maybe this is the time that he has to also go to and rest. Him. He has done his bit. So right. the the rest of us living need also to do something so that the next generation will also be proud of us. Amen. Amen. Right. Okay. So now we are we are saying goodbye to you. But before you go, please put out your social media handles and also where we can find this new song. Okay. Only you, yeah. Okay. Um, my social media handle uh, to look for me is very simple. You just uh, type uh, Pio Kwabena Donko. Uh, the Kwabena is K W A B E N A, mm. and then the Donko is D O N K O R. Okay. Not the H is the R. That's okay. why uh, at Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, and even when you go to YouTube. You type the same name, you get uh, anything about P.O. Kwabna Donko there. It's right. not, I don't have a uh, replication of names whereby you have to go here and look for no, no. Okay. All angles is P.O. Kwabna Donko and right. you can get me done. Okay. But before I leave, mm. I think I have to uh, extend some greetings to some good people who okay. are also. Uh, the first goes to the chief of Never staff. Uh, the, the 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 king of the royals in Ghana. Okay. So sir, I salute you. Good afternoon. And then the all the directing staffs, uh, my colleagues, and then the the upstream guys at the Western Never Command. I say shout out to you guys. You are also in fact they are they are a very good supporting uh, uh, instrument so far as the service is concerned. Right. And then also my family, my dad and my mom. And then my two wonderful boys. You know, I have two boys. Oh, you um, didn't say your wife. You are giving your. Oh, wife. I'm coming. Okay. Uh, you, you see, you see, you see, women. You, she wants to just uh, uh, take. I'm the, just the, saying. At least it comes from the mother before the no, kids. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Then let me revert. It. Okay, <laughs> to my wife Stella. Okay. I say thank you for the support that you have been giving me. And then um, my two wonderful boys, Murphy Bushet and then the Jehoshaphat, mm -hmm. and my entire family for the support that they have given okay. me. I say may God bless them all. God bless and you. lastly, Joyce, I will say it here again that may God bless you for what you have done for me. I know this friendship is not ending here. Please don't listen to what people are saying. Okay. Most of them are jealous. Okay, we hear. Because God is doing wonderful things. We and hear. it's still the unbreakable God that we trust. Uh, Bobaba, on this note, let's go for a quick break. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs>